Flags are flying at half staff tonight, including this one at the city county building, in memory of former Pittsburgh Mayor Sophie Masloff, who died this morning at the age of 96. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Belanger. She's often described as iconic, colorful, and beloved. Masloff was the 56th mayor of Pittsburgh and was also the city's first female and Jewish executive. Tonight, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 anchor Sally Wiggin helps us remember the life and legacy of this woman who made such a difference in our city, including how she was thrust into the spotlight by the death of another beloved Pittsburgh politician. Will you faithfully discharge the duties of your office of mayor to the best of your ability? I will and I do. She was 70 years old. While some might have considered Sophie Masloff an unlikely replacement for the popular Caligari, the terminally ill mayor had supported Masloff for council president. The mayor had a big control over the council, and he asked them if they would vote for me, and they did, and that's how I became mayor. I'm sure because it was Caligari who wanted me. Masloff had served in Pittsburgh City Council since 1976, but some former colleagues were less than welcoming now. I felt that uh, I had a hostile council. I just felt that they were resentful. And I was extremely self conscious the first few uh, meetings. But the people loved her, and she successfully ran for a full term as mayor. Let me say it is a great personal honor to be the mayor of this city. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Heady stuff for the woman born in the Hill District to Romanian Jewish immigrants. Some saw her as quirky, yet endearing. But the Jewish grandmother who appeared on national talk shows and in the Wall Street Journal was politically savvy. She lowered the city's wage tax and pushed new development in the Hills Crawford Square and the Pittsburgh Technology Center. I lowered the wage tax the second year I was in office from four, four mills to three and a half mills because I believed then that the, way, the wage tax may influence young people from living, moving into Pittsburgh. But most of all, she was a visionary. An old-fashioned, natural grass, open-ended baseball park to be built close by Three River Stadium. Her Clemente Field proposal came a decade before PNC Park. But tragically, her husband of 52 years, Jack, died while she was in office. Masloff decided not to run for a second term. But she remained a force in state and national politics, attending every Democratic National Convention from 1960 to 2004. But at 93, Masloff was urged by doctors not to attend what would be Barack Obama's nomination. The old gray mayor, she ain't what she used to be, but I'm still going gray, and I'm going to die with my boots on. Three, two, one, off. And perhaps her favorite tribute came six months before, on her 90th birthday. The unveiling of Sophie Masloff Way was in the shadow of the baseball park that she had dreamed of. I appreciate this honor, although I really don't deserve it. I did what I was supposed to do. Always, right up until the end. Sally Wicken, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.